All right, so just to follow up on my bow video from um, last week, I finally got this attached. The uh, arrow quiver however the only problem we're having now so I kind of anticipated this but this is too close so I'm gonna take a bolt cutter and cut it right there because we don't need all this sticking out anyway so Hopefully my idea to have one single pin is going to be worthwhile. I know some of us out there like to be shooting like 50, 60, 70, 100 yards. That's not me. I mean, <clears throat> all my shots are going to be 10, 20 yards anyway, maybe 30. Um, so we'll, we'll see how it goes. Worst case scenario. There's plenty of room here. I'll just throw another pin on if I have to. I'll, I'll try to get it sighted, you know. I bet like 10 yards is going to be like up here. And then, you know, maybe this will be like 50 yards. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, in other news, I got this today for Fiona. Because I needed to get her a trigger release. I didn't want to go crazy on price. Because we all know how the economy is right now. So this was only like $10 um, on Amazon. It's obviously an off brand. Um, she wanted orange. You know, there's like different colors to choose from. Orange, blue, red, I think. Um... And it says double opening, doodle opening. I don't know what that means. <laughs> um, 3D archery, indoor archery, hunting. So <clears throat> she liked this style more than a trigger because a lot of her hesitation with using a release is... Um, She's afraid she's going to hit the trigger, but I'm trying to convince her that's not going to be an issue. It's like a deliberate action. Just don't even have your finger on it as you're pulling back. Just kind of pull it back, but I'm going to open this up so we can see how this is. I'm going to put the phone down for one. <clears throat> Alright, on the back, we've got, I do not know what doodle opening means, a colored trigger, don't know what that means, fully independent doodle caliper jaws, new body design with added texture solid, Swivel connector with three hole length adjustment. Leather strap with neoprene for extra comfort. And we'll see. All right. Should do the trick anyway. Got a little baggie here with a little tool, probably for adjusting. This is actually. Probably won't even fit me because it's for youth. Hmm. So that is very sensitive. <laughs> so I'm gonna kind of tell where she's coming from with this one. I kind of feel like it's a lot more deliberate. But Pretty loose here. Should do the trick though. And um, good thing is 
leather buckle strap so it will not fall off. The one she tried a couple of years ago, it's kind of just a strap on like Velcro deal. So I think she thought it was going to fall off. You know, with the buckle, it's definitely not going to fall off. So I think this is going to be a game changer for her. I'm going to just try and put it on for a second. So I'm going to put the phone down. <clears throat> okay, so basically pull it back. Um, you know, let's use my bow for an example. Get this out of here, get this out of here. I'll right, we'll turn it around. Okay, so here we go. So. Got our little D loop. Set the trigger. And you pull it back and boom. So put on the D loop. And pull back our bow. You know, she's going to have to just keep her finger here to make sure it doesn't open up. And then when she's ready, Boom. Shoots the bell. I think it might almost be time for a new D-loop myself. So. Yeah, it's pretty cool. She can just hold it and pull it. And um, should be good to go.